Next, I would like to use the calculator to do the same problem. So the calculator command would be stat tests to proportion z test. Let's go there right now. Stat test to proportion z test x1 so I'm here in my matrix x1 equals let me go here x1 equals 5 n1 equals 20 x2 equals 80 n2 equals 160 I'm, I'm here and I have a two-sided test so let's pick the two-sided option here and calculate. So z equals minus 2.11. That matches what we got right here. I'm on page 2 there. z naught equals minus 2.11 p-value on the calculator turned out to be 0 0.0347. We got 0 0.0349, not a big deal for p-value. And of course it gives you the p1 hat, p2 hat, p tilde, all of it. And we're done. So our answers are correct. So again, stat test to proportion z test is what you would use and you put in your x1 equals 5 and n1 equals 20 and x2 equals 80 and n2 equals 160 and you pick the two-sided test option and it gives you Z naught and it gives you the p-value also. Z naught was minus 2.11 and the p-value was 0 0.0347. on the calculator. Next, I would like to do the same problem, but using the chi-square test for homogeneity of proportions. So, same problem. By chi-square test for homogeneity of proportions. So for that H naught would be P1 equals P2 versus HA P1 not equal to P2. And I would have to find my expectation matrix. So the observed matrix was given by A, B, insomnia, no insomnia, 5, 15, total 20, and 80, 80, 160 totals are 85, 95, and 180. 
Let me find my expected matrix right now. Here's the expected matrix. So of course the totals would stay the same. 85 and 95 and 180. And these totals here, the column totals would be the same also. So I'm working on this cell. I'm working on this cell right now. Let's take the row total, which is 85, divided by the grand total, 180, times the column total, 20. 9.4 repeating. And let's next work on this cell which is the row total, 85, divided by the grand total, times the column total. 75.5 repeating. Next we work on this one. Row total, 95, divided by grand total, times 20. 10.5 repeating. And then this one, which is just 95 minus that, 95 minus 10.5, 84.4 repeating. Ninety-five divided by 180 times 160, oops. 95 divided by 180 times 160, 84.4 repeating. Okay, so the chi-square test statistic is equal to summation over all cells of observed minus expected square over expected. So that gives me 5 minus 9.4 repeating square over 9.4 plus 80 minus 75.5 repeating square over 75.5 repeating plus 15 minus 10.5 repeating squared over 10.5 repeating plus 80 minus 84.4 repeating square over 84.4. Let's add up all this mess and see what we get. So 5 minus 9.4 square it divided by 9.4 repeating point 2.09 plus 80 minus 7.5 repeating square it and divided by 75 point I'm sorry that's a mistake uh, 80 minus 75.5 repeating, square it and divide by 75.5 repeating. 0.2614 plus 15 minus 10.5 repeating, square it and divide by 10.5 repeating.
1.87 and lastly 80 minus 84.4 repeating square it and divide by 84.4 repeating Point two three three nine. Let me just check this first number because that's a little off. 5 minus 9.4, square it, and divide by 9.4, repeating. 2.09. Okay, so we add all of these up together. So 2.09 plus 0.2614 plus 1.87 plus 0.2339 gives me 4.4568. 4.4568. And of course, I would like to check my work on the calculator. So let me go to second matrix edit a so this matrix is a two by two two by two let's fill in the observed matrix so that would be 5 80 15 80 stat test chi-square test Observed A, expected B, just hit enter both times and then calculate. So this gives me a chi-square test statistic of 4.458 and I got 4.457. So I'm satisfied. Additionally, I would like to mention that this should be should be the square of the Z naught test statistic. from the normal theory method. So let me go back to my normal theory method and pick up the Z naught that I found there. The naught that I had found was minus 2.11. Let's see if this is in fact 4.4568, is that equal to minus 2.11 squared? So, minus 2.11 squared. Four point four five two is in fact equal to four point four five. So I know that my numbers are correct. So let's put over here the calculator commands second matrix edit a a is two by two and then input all 